So you're calling. In the air, you're calling? Yeah. Okay. It's tails. No. <laughs> It's tails. Nico goes first. It's a compliment, though. Oh, that's. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, I mean, you missed the first half of the debate, sweetheart, so. <laughs> that means you go first, actually. Okay. You have two minutes for your opening. Okay. Um, and I will cut you off promptly after two minutes, so be aware of that. Okay. Um, are you going to warn us? Sorry. Is, are you doing warning motions of time lapse? I can if you would like me to. You want a 10 second know, warning? Just a general question. I can give you a 10 second warning. If you want to, you can. I'll give you a 10 second if that would be helpful. Okay, two minutes, uh, beginning now. I hope this doesn't turn into Barack versus Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it, it's cool seeing so many of my friends out here right now. Um, I think I know 60, 70% of you guys. You know, and I, I was putting together my notes outside trying to figure out what it was I was going to say. and I had a lot of stats and I had a lot of uh, uh, ideas of where we've been and where we're going. But I just thought we'd just talk about a, a, a few quick ideas, you know, because I guess to paraphrase, paraphrase a political campaign, it's all about equality, stupid, you know. For, for them, it's the economy, stupid. For GS students, it's all about equality. So a couple ideas on that, you know. We, we're right in the midst right now of this capital campaign, and it's scheduled to end in four more years, and it's one of the biggest capital campaigns in the history of, of, of American universities. And we're, our financial aid system is tied into a part of that. We're going to double scholarships over the course of the next um, four years. That's improvement. That's amazing improvement. And that's a lot more than where we, we, where we were. Equality in housing. Uh, we need to be exploring housing subsidies for GS students who live off campus. Um, once again, our future is tied into Manhattanville. And the growth of Manhattanville allows GS students to live on campus. And the 40% of students that are on waiting lists right now that want to live on campus, their problems will be alleviated. Um, in the meantime, the question is, how do we connect students? You know, and I, I think that, like for me, I, I kind of picture when we come in here to, to, uh, to Columbia, we're just a bunch of disparate pens. And if you guys have played pickup sticks before, you know, we're here during orientation like this. And after orientation, everyone's disconnected. You know, so the question is, how do we connect all these pieces that have now fallen everywhere as students? Because it's been said by Tony Blair that talent is the 21st century, is the first 21st century wealth. And all this wealth needs to be accounted for. Um, Already this year, is that the 10 second? Mm -hmm. It is, okay. Already this year, real quick, Blue Notebooks is a student organization that's been started. We've had ideas for Columbia Ballet to be started, Anthropology and Film Club, uh, Aaron Lewis over here with Columbia Students for International Service. Time. All GS student organizations, all wealth. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gabrielle Breen, you have two Stop, minutes. I <laughs> <laughs>